What's up guys, this is Alpine Gremlin again with some more World of Tanks gameplay. Right now we are checking out an assault match on the map Westfield. We're defending uh, in my IS-3, a tier 8 Soviet heavy tank. My platoon mate Eshamp is driving his KV-5, which is a Soviet tier 8 premium heavy tank that you buy with gold. Assault is probably one of the more disliked game modes since uh, patch 7.5 brought it into the fight. Uh, a lot of people feel it's one side to the defenders. Uh, it's, it's certainly not my favorite game type personally, uh, but I, I don't really hate it as much as many other people in the game do. It's okay, basically. Anyway, I'm going, me and my pal are going to this bridge and we're going to park ourselves under the bridge so that we can cover uh, the northern flank. A lot of people like to go that way just because it's out of the way. So it's probably one of the more, it should be one of the more defended positions if you are in fact defending on this map. Now, the purpose of this video is to show you guys uh, what really matters in this game. It's not kills or anything like that. What really matters is damage, is the damage you do and the overall contribution you make to the team. Because the way the game operates is it awards you credits and experience based on several categories. You know, what did you spot? Uh, who did damage to who? Damage is the most important factor in this game because that's how the game calculates your credits and experience at the end of the match. So, for example, I'm going to shoot this T-34. 362 damage I did to him. The game will then add up the credits based on, you know, the game will award me credits based on that shot. And the total damage done is what ends, is how you end up with your original, with your end of match credits and experience. So you're seeing I'm hurting these guys a lot, you know, 460 damage is a lot at this tier. You know, 300 in the 300 and 400s, that adds up pretty darn quick. And uh, the IS, the IS, uh, three's BL9 122 millimeter cannon is great for that. It's got uh, over 230 millimeters of penetration, I believe, which is phenomenal for a for a tier nine gun. There's a T44. Shoot him. Bam. 372. The IS-3 is also good because it's very angled. Its armor isn't the thickest, but the angles certainly make up for that. It is a very bouncy tank. You will ricochet a lot, especially if you angle the vehicle right. And there you go. Damage to him, and he's down. Now you're going to notice, you know, I don't get a single kill this round. I am not kidding. You will not see me kill a single enemy this round but the amount of damage I did is immense. And I am going to walk away with this match uh, with a Confederate medal. Incoming KV-5, interesting little tactic. It's actually kind of funny how many people haven't adjusted to the physics at this point. You still see people like that trying to come down and get a shot and they realize, uh-oh, I can fall down now. But uh, yeah, I'm going to come away with this with this battle with a confederate medal which is awarded uh, if you damage if you do the most damage to enemy vehicles out of anyone on your team to have those vehicles subsequently destroyed by a teammate I actually consider this a much better award to have than say Top Gun which is what you get for destroying six enemy six or more enemy vehicles in a single round that's you know the coveted award in World of Tanks but in my opinion Confederate is the greatest award in World of Tanks because it means that you contributed a whole lot to the effort of your team because you did a crap ton of damage. You did the most damage to out of anyone on your team uh, and, it, and even more proof that kills don't matter. You'll see I tracked that T-54 even though we used a repair kit and I'm going to get another good shot into his side armor. Bang! He's got around 60 HP left. 68 HP. Now, uh, you'll notice uh, T-32 fires at his side, takes him out. 
you'll notice, you know, some people might get mad at that, oh, you took my kill. But in reality, it doesn't matter because if you beat them within an inch of their life and then somebody else kills them, they're going to get a lot less experience for that kill than you do for that, uh, you know, for that engagement because you did more damage than them and therefore you'll be rewarded with a greater amount of credits and experience because of that. So a lot of new players don't understand that concept that kills are not the, are not the deciding factor in this game. It's damage, it's spotting, it's overall teamwork. That's how you win games and that's how you get credits and experience. Now, uh, the new replay system, you can't see the after action report anymore. So, uh, and I forgot to take a screenshot of it after the match was over, so I can't actually show you guys the end. But you can kind of tell based on all the damage I did that um, I did, I got the Confederate medal and I got it in the neighborhood of, you know, 50, 60,000 credits and, you know, around 2,000 experience or so. I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, for the IS-3. It's a... Uh, now, our match is coming to a close here. Uh, we're kind of just looking for the scout. The T-50-2, which actually got a nerf with patch 8.0. I sold mine because I, I didn't like... They ruined the... Of all the things they could have touched, they touched the traverse speed. They lowered it by 10, which really in my opinion, kills the effectiveness of this tank. I mean, it gets thrown into battles with Tier 9s and Tier 10s. you got to be a freaking ridiculously agile and fast in order to survive in a scout, and they got rid of that. I ended up selling mine. Uh, the T-50 has still has great traverse speed, so I think that's actually might be a better scout at this point. But that's just my opinion. But he's, he's running. The guy's running. He knows what he's doing. Unfortunately, his team didn't know what they were doing, so he couldn't really help. He can't, you know, that, being a scout's tough. I, I feel for this guy because uh, I do it a lot too. You know, being a good scout and having your team not knowing and having a clue what to do, oh, and then it's all for nothing. He gets taken out. His last 11 HP gets taken out by the T32, I think. Yeah, T32 gets him. Uh, but anyway, uh, we came away with a victory that round. I hope you guys uh, found this video uh, fun and enjoyable to watch and also a little bit informative for those of you that weren't aware of how the game gives you know credits and experience uh, basically teamwork and damage and spotting will get you way more credits and experience than will just killing somebody outright so with that in mind I hope you guys enjoyed this and thank you for watching